The Middle Ages have left us hundreds of castles, each more beautiful than the next. A fortified castle was the greatest status symbol a knight could possess. But did castles always deliver what they promised? To assess their real military value, archaeologist Matthew Johnson has examined dozens of castles. The 14th century Bodium Castle in Sussex, with its moat and massive towers, might appear to have everything a castle could need to repel an assault, but appearances can be deceptive. When you begin to look at the details of Bodium Castle, it becomes very clear very quickly that it's not a militarily serious piece of architecture. Take, for example, the Merlons and Crenels you can see behind me. They're actually a little bit too small to do the job properly. They're very thin, there's no arrow loops in the merlons, and the tops of them are actually slightly lower than a man's head, a little too small for actually doing the job. But what about the broad moat? Knights in heavy armour make bad swimmers. Matthew Johnson discovered that 12 men could drain the moat in a single night. Nonetheless, it did serve one purpose. For me, the real purpose of the moat is very different. It's actually to make the castle look bigger than it really is by showing its reflection in the water. So it's symbolic rather than defensive. Even if his castle couldn't withstand a serious attack, the Lord of Bodium no doubt impressed his peers. And the peasants, who followed their Lord to war hoping to share with him in the spoils, would continue to know their place.